Now, of course, when I'm not here, I am back at my normal home, which is uh, Sports Bar Monday, Thursday from 10 pm. One of our callers, one of my favourite callers, goes by the name of Khaled. He's an Arsenal fan. Uh, he recently came on my show and said that um, Mikel Arteta is the third best manager in the Premier League. Then he called back to say, actually, he meant second best. I heard it, yeah. He's, Fantastic. We, we, we played it on uh, the Head's clip gone. on. He's great. Well, gone, yeah. well, he's back now to tell us about Arsenal and why they are a top six side. Khalid, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, Andy. Good afternoon, Darren. How are uh, you? Good afternoon, you sir. Miss you on the sports bar, that, oh, uh, very kind. Uh, Andy. Very kind, yeah, Khalid. Um, well, it's nice to have you on drive. Quick, yeah, cheers. Just a quick one. I had to call up because I just want to get Goffey's facts right. Absolute, <laughs> it's an absolute disgrace for you to say that we're not a top six club or a top six side. I'll, I'll give you one argument. In the last 10 years, how many times have Arsenal finished outside the top six and in the last 10 years, how many times have Leicester and Tottenham finished in the top six? <laughs> that, that argument itself kills your argument that we're not, in a, we're not a top six side. I'm saying, so that, I'm saying at this moment side. in time, you're a top six club. There's no doubt about that whatsoever. I think Arsenal, and it won't be long if you're listening, before uh, you're back as a top six all round as a team and a club. Yeah, but we have to say that currently we're a top six side as well. We've only finished outside the top six once, Andy. Uh, sorry, uh, Darren. And um, it's our, well, it'll our, be twice you know, after this year, probably, wouldn't it? Well, if if we, the season's not over yet, and you got you got well, it, is, you know, it is for Arsenal. Tottenham, not really, no, because it's not over. It's thirty eight games in the Premier League season, not twenty seven or twenty eight or twenty nine. But even Tottenham finishing above us last season, we still had the better season because we won the FA Cup and automatically qualified for the Europa League, where they had to. They had to qualify through the group stage or, or whatever it was, uh, qualify through uh, to get to the group stage, sorry. So, um, I mean, there's an argument to say we're even a top four side because we finished 20 years on the bounce consecutively in the Champions League. Um, yeah, because that's when you were really, really, t you were a top four side. There's not even doubt about that. But you can't keep living on the past. I agree well, with you. I... Arsenal were brilliant. They were absolutely top of the tree. One of the best four sides every single year, getting to the Champions League every single season. But the, the problem with, with you, if you're going to be honest about it, but that could become the problem, didn't it? You come what Spurs are becoming. It's all about trying well, to finish in the top well, four. Goffey, sorry, I'm, I, know, I know you're uh, short for time, but four, four trophies in six years, calling, comparing us to Spurs? I mean, that's a bit <laughs> ridiculous, isn't it? Four, year, uh, four trophies, 2015 FA Cup, 2017 FA Cup, 2018 FA Cup, last year FA Cup. I mean, you know, it is the FA Cup. It's still a major honour and we've won four of them in the last six. So, I mean, it's, it's ridiculous that you could even mention that we're not a top four. Uh, Do you know what? Because I'm putting them all together. I'm putting, it, I'm putting it all together. So I'm putting it together as a club and as a team. So if you look at uh, Tottenham, right? Yes, I think consistently they've been in that top six, haven't they? I think for the 10 years, haven't they? For the last 10 years, they've been right up there, right? No, been... no, you need to check that, mate. They haven't. They haven't. Well, well I don't know. I mean, this year they are, what, 1920, uh, uh, the sixth at the moment. Uh, they were sixth last year. Um, they were fourth the year before that. Third the year before that. They are second top, top the year six before last that. Ten years, they Third are. before the, uh, yeah, they the are. year they that. Are. They are. Uh, fifth, 2014 15. Sixth, 2013 14. Hang on, mate. I'm checking my stats. So you told me to do it. 2011 yeah. 12, they finished fourth. And 2012 13, they finished fifth. So that tells me the last 10 years, well. the last 10 <laughs> years, they've been in the top six, mate. OK, and what's the difference between them and Arsenal? Sorry, mate, if you want to do the Arsenal stats, because we've finished not only top six, but we've been in the top four. Well, at the, minute, at the well. minute, you're ninth. Yeah, season's not over. You're ninth at this moment in time. You were eighth last season. So that's two years where you've not finished in the top six. So I'm just oh. going on recent stats, mate, if you want to go down yeah, there. The, the, you were six, you hung on in 2017-18. In 2018 19 you finished fifth. Um, yeah, and the, the days are gone. So you're fifth. You had a good year, 2015-16, where you popped in at second. You know what I mean? So we're talking of of late. You've just slipped out of that kind of elite. And Absolutely yes, you win in the FA. You win in the FA Cup, mate. Listen, and I've no doubt whatsoever. I'm not having to go at Arsenal. I'm saying there's no doubt whatsoever here. But you'll be back in, possibly top four and the top six in the next probably four or five seasons. I'm not doubting that one bit. But at this mm -hmm. moment in time, Arsenal are not in the same bracket as the others. Let's go to Paul. Thanks, Callum. Let's go to Paul's an Everton fan. Hello, Paul. Hi, guys. Hi, Paul. Off you go. I think my opening statement would basically be the big six is a fallacy dreamed of no more than about 18 months ago by Sky. 
And you've got to basically understand what was the criteria for that because I can't work it out what it is. The top six by way of top six clubs, teams, is basically the top six that is today. The top six performing teams in this country are the top six in the Premier League today. That changes every week, every yeah, but it's not. But it's is not, it over a period, though, mate? Is it, should it be over no. a five-year period no. or something? No, 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 that's... no. Big, you know, let, de define big six compared to top six. Top six has got to be on always on performance. Big six, which is what the, you're talking about, what was the criteria for the big six? Because if it was based on the last 50 years of winning the Premier League, then Tottenham would be about minus 42 you know, so it's, you know, the, the, there used to be a big five. There was always a big five. And then big five clubs were Liverpool, Man United, Arsenal, Everton, and Spurs in a very poor fit. Somebody coined the big six, six about 18 months ago based on, I haven't a clue. But Everton, but Everton used to be in the top uh, six, had a top four. There's no doubt about it a long yeah, time they were, ago. I'm not, I'm not, but they're I'm not, not even I'm in the top six now, are they? They're not in the no, top not six. Not yet. But not yet. But uh, what, I'm, what I'm trying to say to you is, who defined the why you would be called a club in the big six? There's no criteria for that. But you understand it, Paul, don't you? I understand it from the perspective of they look at it and think, oh, there's a bit of money there, there's a bit of money over there. But at the moment, the money's changing all over the place as well. You could, on the basis of who's got the money at the moment, you could quite easily class Everton in, in, the, in, in as a big six club. But no, we're not there on a no, it's not big. It's not big. When you're talking about the top six, I don't. I think it's fair to say you don't put West Ham or Everton in that argument. No. Uh, well, I don't. I, I mean, I really, really. If you're talking about pure performance, no, 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 no. That's the league everything. table. That's the, the league table. Well, I'm the size about of the club, everything. Yeah, the, the size of the club, the football club, the finances, the players, everything. and where you're finishing. Yeah. Everton are not in the top six. Well, are they in the big six? No. No. City, United, Chelsea, Liverpool, Spurs, Arsenal. Okay, and I'm what well, right. So you're basically saying that because of league position. Or no, 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 everything. everything. If, 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 if I asked you to, if I asked you to name the big six, would you put Everton in it? I wouldn't put Everton in it, but I certainly wouldn't put Spurs in it either. Okay, oh, well, you, come on. You give Spurs me your top are the eighth six. richest club in Europe. Arsenal, are the eleventh richest club. So if we're talking about big six over a. A period of ten years, Arsenal are probably in it, right? There's, there's no doubt yeah, about they it. Are, just 100 percent. Yes, it. because they're the eleventh richest club in Europe, yeah. and they've had some success in the FA Cup, as he's come on and told us. We so, know that, so who and where they finished in the Premier. So Leicester wouldn't be in it, would they? Leicester, are the twenty-second richest club in Europe at this moment in time, but they wouldn't be in a big six. But they are as a team and the way they're playing at this moment in time. Paul, who who would your if you're not going to put Spurs in your big six, who would your six be? I just said to you now, Spurs were always in the, what was classed as the Big Five many, many years ago. Very the traditional clubs, really. I think from the, I think they're bordering on the sixth club. I, I agree, but they're no, they're no higher than sixth. In a league table of the six, they're the bottom of that. Yeah, but they're in it. You know, they, they're, they're just in it. So, so they are in it. On that, well, they, they're only just. But I think you're showing. So they're in it. Are they in it? Whoever Paul? coined it. Yeah, I'm saying whoever they are in coined it. Okay. it I tell you what, mate. I tell you what. When the pubs reopen and we're all about get, get out in the beer gardens, this is a debate you've got to take into yeah. the pub because this is a classic pub debate. This. Yeah, but but I'm a bitter, bitter Everton supporter, so I'm always going to basically. Paul, uh, we're all bitter football fans. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs>